Water features, sensory gardens and free-to-air TV sound like features used to advertise for well, market accommodation, but they'll be available to hundreds of the country's most volatile, complex and sometimes difficult prisoners at Paremoremo Prison by October. Corrections Minister Kelvin Davis opened the new east wing of the country's only specialist jail for high security male prisoners today. He says the new building will provide improved rehabilitation services for inmates who in some cases desperately need them. Our reporter Jesse Chan was at the opening. That's the sound of a small water feature in a sensory garden, a New Zealand first for prisons. The garden is in the mental health unit and designed to give inmates a natural space to talk in under supervision. The Department of Corrections says along with its on-site health units, it will improve treatment without having to move prisoners around. Its Chief Custodial Officer Neil Beals says he's excited to see what a difference the new spaces will make. You know, if you need to talk something through with somebody in a, in a less austere environment, less, you know, it's out of the way, it gives you an environment where you can actually be a little bit more therapeutic in the way that we interact with the prisoners and it's also a, a place where they can find a little bit of peace, a little bit of quiet, you know, time for a bit of reflection. The new East Wing at Paremoremo will house 260 prisoners who will be electronically monitored by staff using cameras and electronic doors. Correction says it will have a significant focus on mental health treatment for prisoners with acute needs. But despite the revamp, the total number of prisoners remains unchanged at 680. The Corrections Minister Calvin Davis says the focus is on providing a new fit-for-purpose building, which is a big contrast to the one built 50 years ago. That facility was built in 1968. I, I'm told to plans developed in 1920 for the American situation. And I guess in those days, in the 1960s, someone would have literally posted the plans over to New Zealand and see if there's a bit of land, build it. Uh, it's totally past its use by date. Most of the cells, apart from those designed for high-risk prisoners, will have their own bed, toilet and shower. Inmates in standard cells will also have access to free-to-air television, which comes at a cost of $2 per week. Rehabilitation programs such as learning welding and online skills will be available to prisoners. Corrections Chief Executive Ray Smith says making the new facility fully operational will take time. We've got to make sure that our people uh, are trained to operate the new things in the facility and they understand their way around it, uh, how to handle emergencies and just the day-to-day -day running. And we've, we will do a whole lot of operational testing. So we're going to make sure that uh, in all situations we know how everything works and anything that isn't working quite right we'll have time to fix. Mr Smith says the first prisoners will be moved to the new facility from mid-September. He says by October, after everyone has been transferred over, the old facility will be open to the public. Mo te hōtaka o te ahi ahi nei, ko Jesse Chang tēnei.